Guys, let's take a photo for tomorrow's sponsored stream. Tomorrow, I'm doing a sponsored stream where I'm going to play a game you might have heard of. Uh, we're going to play Team Fight Tactics. Yeah, no, TFT is not sponsoring me. Uh, but I'm sponsored by Factor. Yeah, uh, Factor is a food company, like one of those meal delivery services. So I'm going to eat food on stream and then I'm gonna be like, Pog, this food is so good. And then you, the viewer, are gonna be like, Pog, that makes me wanna buy the Factor using promo code POGBOXBOX. I'm really happy that they let me get the promo, promo code POGBOXBOX. Usually everyone, every company just gives me promo code BOX, but this company was like, yeah, you want a POG in your coat? Yeah, sure, you can have it. Oh, I got it. All right, let's take a look. What did Scar do to his keyboard? Oh my God. Wait, isn't this what you're supposed to do? Oh, he put the whole keyboard inside. I see, yeah. Featherweights! Hold up, hold up, hold up. I kind of want to do this. I'm going to do it. Yordles or Protector, either way. I'm very interested in this. My items are a little bad for it, but Featherweights is like a free opportunity to play a real comp. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna roll one time, see if I hit something. I wanna try to streak here. Okay, I'll play Yordles. Where's the action? Metal is harder than flesh. Okay, yeah. Yordles it is. Re Yordles. Something important to know about Featherweights is you don't have to play Featherweights forever. You could just play it early game to get the streak. 40% attack speed is great, but I don't have to force it. We could just play it and then eventually move on to a different comp. Mm-hmm. What am I gonna do with these items? I'm I can do something late game with these items. <laughs> this could be two chalices and a trap claw. Aren't those items good in Heimer? Yeah, but Heimer doesn't work with featherweights. That's what I was thinking as well. I'm trying to find a blue buff user who could benefit off of this. Uh, I'll just, I'm down to just play Camille. Okay, I'm gonna make a Hodge. I wanna win streak. I want to get that juicy Yordle win streak. I only need this Camille. Oh, but I also need this Blitzcrank for synergies. Okay, I'm probably not playing reroll Yordles. I'm probably not going for the Vagar. Oh yeah, there's just no way. Oh, good social light spot. Noted. Nice. We countered this guy with positioning. <laughs> you pulled my poopy. Oh, I love this song. Very funky. Very rat jam. Oh, it's literally called Retro Funky. Alright. If everybody could back away from the cloak, nobody gets hurt. Back away from the cloak and nobody gets hurt. Oh wow, I just gave this guy an MF pair. I can do this. Do not make my hammer mad. Do not make my hammer mad. 
Metal is harder than flesh. Okay, remember what Coach uh, Kiyun said? Put them all front line so that in case I get a lucky, I get mega value. Box, box, just hit diamond four. Any tips on making the masters in TFT? Yeah. Well, you want the sarcastic advice or the real advice? The sarcastic advice is just do everything better. The real advice is study streams and then do everything better. Oh, here, I can give you an actual tip that I think a lot of people don't actually think about. A lot of players don't even know what the item economy is. TFT is full of like, it's one of those games where it feels like luck until you learn about more about the game. And then the more you know, the more you know it's not luck. So like bad players will think it's luck. And then good players will be like, oh, well, I mean, yeah, sure, there's some luck, but have you been doing this, this, and this? And then as you play, you'll realize, no, I have not been doing this, this, and this. So what you can do is actually a lot. Uh, one of them is you can learn about item economy, which will help you make better decisions. Uh, there is a concept of an item bag. It starts off with, I believe, two of every item. Maybe it's one. The fact that I don't even know is like, tell, it's very telling about how complicated it is. It, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just say you have two. Correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, so you have two of every item in your bag. And when you get a tier, it removes one item from your bag, which means next time you have an item round, there's only one tier and there's two of everything else. So you can use that to calculate your odds of hitting certain items. You can actually use that to be like, oh yeah, I, uh, I've already recently hit two belts, so it's very unlikely I hit a belt. And sometimes it's actually straight up impossible. Oh my god, I almost lost that. Oh, it's important to note that in the item bag, every time you have an item around, uh, you gain one of each copy of your item into your bag. So if you, have, if you have two of everything in the beginning and you get two belts, then you can be like, okay, well, now there's only going to be one belt, because one belt's getting added into the bag. Uh, and then there's going to be three of every other item. And you can use this to calculate your odds of hitting. That can help you make good choices for the, the carousel. It's Riot's attempt at, like, mitigating RNG to make it so that you're not likely to get, like, four belts in one game. It can still happen, but just very unlikely. Ooh, I actually have a very good item here. Very, very good item. Also, I need to not buy this Lulu. Remember what Coach Kiyun said? Holy Heimer! Holy shit! I'm down. Holy crap, that's actually crazy what I just hit. That's actually so crazy. A uh, Heimer 2 at level 5. And it was in like one roll. I also have really good items. I have like the same setup for last game, but this time hopefully so there's not some Omega high roller. Wait, you know who I need now? I need the Z. The capital Z. One big zillion in my shop. That'll get me Innovator, Clockwork. Oh, actually, does Clockwork even matter? I've got so much attack speed. I can do this. Is there a synergy I really want to add here? Empire above all. Wait, I just realized something. This Heimer doesn't benefit at all from uh, my Featherweights. I probably should have given the Static Shift to Ziggs. Or even just Camille. They could have made more use of it. Oh fuck! Didn't realize that. Minor throw. That was that was kind of an unpogged decision. It's fine though, cause we're just using featherweights as a win streak tool. I uh, I didn't hit enough yordles. I actually like reroll yordles and reroll protectors when you have featherweights because basically everyone in the comp benefits off of featherweights. Oh guys, around me after this game, I have to say, I have to do a sponsored photo. I have to smile and hold some food in my hand, and then everyone's like, wow, that food looks so tasty, I can't wait to buy some on my own using promo code BOXBOX. That's all. Should take like a minute. Wait, Bao is in my game? Yo, it's THE Bao? I'm down for Ascension. 
Ascension, I know, is going to be good late game. Hmm. Phony Frontline is good right now, though. And it'll help me keep my streak. Oh, hello, Mr. CL. Let me think about this. Ascension is good late game. I know it for sure. Phony Frontline is good right now. And it's pretty garbage late game. How valuable do I... How much do I value keeping my streak? Okay. I value keeping my streak a lot. I think that if I win streak like an extra five rounds, it'll be what gets me to hit Seraphine 3. Oh, I definitely... I guess maybe the Pony Frontline didn't matter here because this guy was Assassins. This guy's so tanky. Wow, my Camille's popping off. Alright, I'm 100% leveling here. Oh, there she is! She's beautiful! She kind of looks like a bitch, but she's beautiful. A beautiful bitch! No! My queen! No! Man, this is so sad. Can't make 40. Wait, I'm Mr. 100. Holy shit. We might get some Korean babes. This is the guy who stole my beautiful bitch. You stole my Seraphine. Oh, he's 100% playing Seraphine. He got. He has a self repair. He's playing 5 Innovator for sure. <laughs> if I have to eat your ass, I will. I won't enjoy it though. Wait, I'm so strong compared to everyone else. This is actually crazy. Jake! This man has a Jake! Uh-oh. <laughs> Maybe I'm not strong. Okay, you might be thinking, Box Box, isn't Camille kind of grieving by being in the back? Nah, son, have you seen how fast this woman can walk? Look at Grandma go. She instantly gets up to the front line. Dude, now that my eyes are open, TFT is so easy, man. How was I not winning every single game? I'm gonna I'm gonna top four all the way to Grandmasters. 10 game win streak. Okay, so last game, I leveled up right here to keep my streak, and then I lost. I can do this. Should we do it again? <laughs> I I have the exact same urge. This is literally a replay of last game. I have the static shiv, I have a strong early game, and I want to level up to protect my streak. I'll fucking do it again. I'm gonna do it. Why not do 4-2? Because then I'll lose my streak. I'll have more gold to roll, but I'll lose my streak. Oh, protect your reroll. Oh, Gwinsu's. Okay. I'm down for this. I'm down for a level up, but not roll. Okay, let's go, Heimer. Show him what you got. I need one more innovator. Replace Camille with uh, someone else. Look at this Heimer Donger go. <laughs> Heimer got chained to the bed. That's fine. It's kind of hot. Dude, what a funny Heimer Dinger build. Okay, here I'm gonna roll until I can replace Camille. I, uh, yeah, let's just hit a Jace. You guys down? Let's just hit a Jace. Okay, I'm down. Let's hit Jace. Jace, Oriana, Yumi, Jana, the good stuff. Yep. One Jace coming right. Wow!
Again. Galio. Am I playing a Fiora here? Hmm. No, I don't think so. Oh, I lose? Wait, it's close, it's close! Heimerdinger does it! He clutches it out! Wait, it's so close. Yes! Oh my god, by 44 fucking HP! I think it's actually better. I think my Seraphine 2 is definitely my strongest unit right now. Let's take advantage of that. My Seraphine's going on a walk! Alright, it is about time we say goodbye to Featherweights. I'm down to finally replace all the Ordals. Why did Heimer just randomly cast his ult? Dude, what an absolute beauty of a game. Still Mr. 100. Okay, focus on the item choices. Think about the item economy. I've only rolled one tier naturally, which means I'm pretty likely to get another one. What about cloaks? Oh, I haven't rolled a single cloak naturally. So I want to get a tier if possible. There's none. Okay. We have, a, we have decent odds of getting a tier on the next item. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And we're going to get two to four components next round. All right. Honestly, I think I'm down. I don't know if this will get me to level 9. Yeah, I don't know if it'll get me to level 9, but it's definitely like pretty powerful. Well, okay, it'll, it'll get me to level 9 because I have 100 HP. I don't know if it'll get me to level 9 with 100 HP. I could keep rolling, but I'd rather just wait. I already know Seraphine's contested. I'm not hitting a 3 star Seraphine. I'd rather just go level 9 and then cap up my board with like Galio 2 and Yumi 2. How far can a Gwinsu's Static Shift Seraphine take me? Cast one more time. Oh my god, we actually somehow won. Wait, it's so close! <gasps> By one auto attack once again! He can't keep getting away with it! Alright, I'm gonna roll. Oh! Level up when you buy experience points? Wait, I'm going level 10. I, I haven't spent my XP yet. Okay, I'm 100%- I'm 100% level up right now. Just to keep my streak. The best is Holy shit. Yeah, just to keep the streak, I'm down. I will protect you. When does the killing start? By your command. Okay, I know I just like griefed away all my money, but Follow my voice. it's because I need to keep the streak. I have to. I must. Okay, at this point, it's through socialite. Seraphine, I'm down to grief your positioning so you can get access to it. Oh my god, it's absolutely beautiful. She's so fucking sexy, man. Wait, surely we can kill Godzilla, right? Clueless. Surely we're gonna kill Godzilla. <laughs> right? Why is he healing so much? Oh my god! Okay. Whew. Not even scared. Okay. 
According to the item bag, we have a pretty good chance of getting a tier here. Yes, we have a pretty good chance of getting a tier. Imagine if you had Ascension. Nah, you shut the fuck up. You already know if we didn't take target dummies, we wouldn't have even gotten here. 100% target dummy let me econ even harder than before. Yes, Ascension would be great now. We already knew that. It was a tough choice, and I feel like we made the right one. Tier. Tier. A. Imagine another tier. Oh, not bad. All right, I'm down to donkey roll. Can I hit two-star Galio or Scion? Oh. Wait, can I throw in this Yumi? Okay, we're we are starting the makings of a Clapio. Surfing, press your R button. One more time, baby. No! This guy deleted my whole team. My Mr. 100. His gin just absolutely smashed me. What the hell? Damn. Okay, right, let me think, let me think. Uh, Jenna is definitely better than Ori right now. Is it time to stop donkey rolling? Yeah, I'm, I'm down to stop donkey rolling. Okay. Three Socialite Seraphine. I'm going to hang on to my five Seraphines. This will discourage other people from uh, buying Seraphine, and then hopefully the other Seraphine players will die. Okay, knock him up. Here comes the Seraphine ult. Boom! And Galio sits on their face. Yo, am I going level 10? If I go level 10, I can fit in... Braum. Level 10 actually makes her a, re a really nice tuber. How many Seraphines exist? One. Two. You know, it's actually hittable. Hmm. Level 10, huh? I might, uh, I might rebuild Blitz. If I get a one-star Blitz, I'll sell. I want to move the Bramble to Scion. Your dragon means nothing to me. Seraphine will cut through him like butter. Dude, this is such a, a, an amalgamation of CC. No one gets to play. Holy shit. This is so beautiful to watch. I think I came. Alright, 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 alright. What do I want here? I want a Seraphine item. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Is there any chance I get that item? It's gone already. Okay, uh... I will take... Gargoyle? Okay. Well, I guess I'm taking the Gunblade. Uh... I'm not a fan of Gunblade Seraphine, but it'll do. It'll do. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just do it. I really don't like it, but the odds of me getting a better item on the dragon is pretty low. Would you ever do Last Whisper for Galio? No, I would do IE for Galio, but not Last Whisper. This will make Seraphine basically heal to full on every ult.
So with this Seraphine build, I almost want her to take damage so she gains mana faster, because she's definitely healing to full. She's a little low on damage though. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ow. Am I playing this chase? No, I'm not. Hello, I penguin. Fuck, I definitely need damage. Two Seraphines, two Seraphines. Okay, Seraphine 3 is mathematically impossible right now. You know what is not mathematically impossible though? Two Seraphines. The legendary two girls, one cup build. Where you have two Seraphines connected by a chalice. Would you pick up Jace at a night? No, I'm not gonna grief my own econ. I wanna go level 10. Wait, why is my Seraphine in there? Oh my god, she just got one shot. Oh fuck, I'm definitely too weak right now. I have no source of damage. Okay, I need I need to get the clap. Capital C. GA? Fuck, that's actually like not good. None of my units benefit from this. Actually, I wonder if I would play a Kai'Sa. Just, like, zero synergy Kai'Sa. Oh, Reforger. Oh, nice. Wait, that's actually huge. I have an idea, I have an idea. Oh my god. Wait, I actually have an insane idea. Hang on. Thief's gloves. Nice. Okay, the pivot to Kai'Sa. These fights last so long, Kai'Sa, even just a one star, is gonna get an infinite amount of damage off. Seraphine is kinda capped if we don't three star her. We already know three star is impossible, but look at this. Look at this one star Kai'Sa. Everything's dead. Just cast one more time. Uh-oh. Oh, what a dot! Uh Galio. Galio. I'm level 10, man. Give me a G. Oh, look at my Scion's items. Holy shit. Oh, I also gotta remember to grab a Blitz. Would you ever play Fjord or Blitz? No. Blitz is like way too good here. Like Blitz is the best. Blitz is the highest value unit in this game right now. In this comp. He provides like three very useful synergies. That Kaisa is missing a second Gwinsu's. Uh, no, she's missing a Morello's. I will get it off Carousel though, don't worry. Okay! I need it! G! 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 Galio. Come home, son. Oh. Will Oriana ever fit into this comp? Nah. Galio! Fuck. Oh my god, that's a Fiora 3. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> I'm in danger. Okay, I'm not facing the Fjord 3 right now. A lazy day. How was your day so far? I slept a lot, but I feel really good right now. I feel very good mentally. Okay, Kaisa 1. 
kicks his ass. Wait, if she gets this cast off. Copio! Let's fucking go sit on them! Bye bye. Die. She's not dead. Wait, Fiora 3 lost. Fiora 3 lost. He lost to my ghost. He lost to my one star Kaisa. <laughs> Come on. Kaisa or Galio. Kaisa or Galio. Galio! Alright, now it's just you. You're the last thing that stands in my way. Oh my god, my Scion got attack speed. I cannot believe this guy got Fjord 3 and then lost to a Kaisa 1. That's gotta feel so bad. He probably got Sunlocked. Alright, watch my Kaisa go to infinity and beyond. 3 Socialite, 1 Star Kaisa with the Biss. Or the almost Biss. Literally zero synergies. We're just playing her because she scales so hard. Infinite CC with my Clapio. It's over! Smash man, smash! Galio jumps up into the air! Boom! Bye bye. Dude, TFT is so easy.